Hi guys, today we're going to have a little look at the differences between squash and paddle. Now we're going to do a few of these videos, so today we're specifically going to focus on the swing mechanics and the technique. Before we start on that, I'd like to go through a few differences in the equipment and that will help explain why the technique differs between the two sports. So to begin with, the racket in paddle is about 370 grams. Obviously it varies between models and brands, but generally it's around 370 grams. The rackets in squash are about 140 grams. The ball in squash is less than half the weight of the ball in paddle. And regularly in squash, you see the speed of the ball travel above 200 kilometers an hour, especially in the men's game. So if you look at paddle, the tactics and the point of the game, it's a lot more about placing the ball, about lobbing your opponents, hitting angles, trying to tactically get an advantage in the point. I'm not saying you don't do that in squash, you do that in squash. But at the same time, when you're at the back of the court in squash, you can hit with a lot more power because the ball doesn't need to bounce on the other side of a net. It goes directly into the wall and re replies back to the corners of the court. So you can hit a lot harder in squash than you can in paddle. There's a few differences with the squash swing and we'll break this down. So first of all, there's the preparation. When the ball comes off the wall towards the squash player, they're moving and preparing as the ball is coming towards them as opposed to paddle where the preparation is early before the ball reaches your side of the net. So they'll move across like this, the racket will be above the hand, the elbow away from the body. Like this, they can generate a huge amount of racket head speed and with the addition of the snap of the wrist on the contact, they can hit the ball at a lot, a lot faster speeds. There's a couple of specific technical areas where squash differs. One is the volleys. In paddle, the volley is a block to control the ball into the corner and you're using the other person's speed. Whereas in squash, again, you have a bit of a swing on it. So you swing through that ball, still trying to generate good racket head speed, using your wrist slightly and hitting fast into the corners of the court again. And the other area is the backhand. Now, the backhand in squash, you need to generate racket head speed. So often the arms cross and then you open fully to try and get as much racket head speed as possible. Whereas in paddle, the hand starts on the throat of the racket and it's again a compact block. These are the major differences between squash and paddle when it comes to technique. When it comes to paddle, as we mentioned before, the purpose of the game is a lot more about control, placement, putting your opponents out of position to try and take advantage in the point. So this reflects in the technique. With your technique in paddle, you, everything is close to your body. You're in a nice compact position, your footwork is nice and small, and when you contact the ball, you contact just in front of the left hip, and the ball is a lot closer to your body. Not only is the contact in the racket closer to your hand, because the racket is shorter than in squash, but also the contact is generally quite close to your body. And this is the same on most of your shots. You'll notice the volleys, the racket is close to the body, the bandeja even, even the vibra where you contact away to the side, it's still not as far as you would expect on a squash shot where you really lunge and you can have a full stretch. In paddle, most of the time, if you can, your contact will be closer to the body. This allows you more control on the ball. Because you don't need to generate a fast racket head speed, you shouldn't and you don't need to use your wrist in paddle. So you basically keep your forearm and wrist nice and strong on your contact and that way you've got a much more consistent shot when you guide the ball into the position that you want to hit it. You also, you don't need your body momentum. Again, you're not putting power into that ball. So really all of your shots in paddle are about getting good foot position and getting a nice stable contact so that every time you're contacting the ball in the right place and therefore you're gonna have a much more consistent shot. I hope this video helped those squash players out there when it comes from the difference between paddle technique and squash technique. And we're gonna do more in the future on footwork and around with the glass, but for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.